Hey, how's it going? This is the review for the WEN 10 inch job site table saw. As you can see, it folds up and stores nicely. Quick tip you ever buy one of those large reclining chairs? Save the plastic. Makes a good dust cover for your saw. Give me a minute to position the camera and I will set up the saw and give you a demonstration. This is a quick demonstration of folding and unfolding the table saw. Latch. This is my one complaint of the table saw. The core does not have a lock or latch like you see in maybe a vacuum, so I have to use this cable clamp to secure it. Now the cord is nice and long, it's about just over nine feet in length. Keep all the pieces and parts for the saw in the tote so that that way they do not get damaged. Here's a quick shot of what's in the tote. It should be noted that some of these parts, like the blue feather board and the small orange push handle, I purchased separately. Also, I have not used the WEN blade that came with the saw. I purchased this Diablo blade and that is the blade I have always used. Quick side note, the wrenches for changing the blade or other are located on the handle side of the saw. Okay, I've moved into the garage out of the wind so I can show you the rest of the saw and set it up. It's a nice cast aluminum top, basically three work supports, this slides out, this slides out, and this handle acts as a work support. Latch under there. This back piece just pulls out. If you be careful, it'll pull completely out. Might be a good idea to drill the tubes and add some set screws, but I don't use it enough to worry about that. Now this is as far as this lowers down into the table, but it can be removed if you want to have it you know, flush. This piece just pulls off so you can change the blade or use the wider piece for dido, dido, I don't know, whatever, oh, I don't do that so. the blade up. Lock it. That's as high as it goes. But we don't need that. I'm just going to set it a little higher than our than my work piece. Right about there should do. Back in, lock it down. Here's the part of the anti kickback. And another 
piece. This one's always fun to get out. There it goes. Nope. There we go. The fence. Drops on, locks down. Now there's a miter groove on either side of the blade, and that's the groove I use to square the fence. You will need to square the fence. Also comes with a miter, which I've never really used it, so it is what it is. And a plastic push stick. Okay. Give me a few minutes to set up outside, so I'll make a mess in here, and I will give you a cut demonstration. Quick bonus clip. This is a rigid flip top work support for when you're cutting something long. Just pulls out the legs. Just the handle and the height. About there. comes in handy from time to time. There, got the fence squared, the work support out, and the feather board is set to a light pressure. I'm going to take this board and make a long thin cut on it, and I will set it up on the tripod so you can see. Well, that's it. The WEN job site table saw. I've used it for about 20 or so odd projects over the past few years. And I wanted something that was cheap, portable, storable. And I think it fits all those nicely. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Peace out.